You might have heard of Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum, but have you heard of Ripple or XRP? It's a hot new cryptocurrency and it's blowing up. We'll walk you through how to buy it now. So the first thing you need to do is buy either Ethereum or Bitcoin. I know it sounds complicated, but you actually have to have that instead of cash if you're in the United States. It's just the easiest way to buy Ripple right now. So to do that, I like to use an app called Coinbase. So you open up Coinbase and you're gonna go buy or sell. And this is assuming you've already created an account. You're gonna select the account you wanna pay from. So in this case, I'm just using my bank account. And then I'm gonna to choose to buy some Ethereum. It's currently trading at $886.29. We'll enter in $20, which is gonna get us 0 0.020 Ethereum. And we're going to buy it instantly. And our purchase was successful. So now we can see that I have a total of 113 Ethereum. Now we're gonna to need to transfer this to what's called a Ripple exchange, one of the exchanges that actually uses Ripple instead of just Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin Cash. And to do that, we're gonna to have to send the Ethereum to another exchange. In this case, I'm using Binance, but there are several others, including BitSane, that I've used before too. Once you're on the Binance page and you've logged in, you wanna to go to the top of the page and you'll see something called Fund. Click that and then go down to Deposits Withdrawals. Now you're going to see a whole list of different cryptocurrencies and what we're going to want to do is deposit the Ethereum that we bought in Coinbase into Binance. And to do that, we're going to have to get a special address. We're going to find the Ethereum here under the Deposits and Withdrawals list. Next to that, you see Deposit, Withdrawal and Trade. We're going to click Deposit because we're going to deposit from Coinbase. And now what it's going to do is develop what's called an ETH deposit address or Ethereum deposit address. It's a long, crazy code. And we're going to copy that and now go back to Coinbase. And on the left, you're going to see all your accounts. And you're going to want to go to the ETH wallet, your Ethereum wallet. And under that, you'll see a button that says send. As long as you have money in there, you can do this. You click send. And now you're going to paste the address that we just brought from Binance into the top of the page. And we can choose how much we want to send to Binance. So in this case, I'm just going to send the $20 that we bought earlier. You can add an optional note. And you'll see that I'm going to have a network fee of 39 cents, which is not too bad. And on my phone, I'm going to have to confirm this with a two-step verification, which is just keeping everything nice and safe. And I'll type that in now. And now it says your transaction is on the way. So what we've done is we've taken the Ethereum that we purchased in Coinbase and sent it over to Binance, where we're gonna be able to use that Ethereum to buy Ripple. And that takes about 20 minutes to an hour. So now we've got some Ethereum in Binance and we're gonna use that to buy Ripple. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the top here, next to XRP and Ripple. And we're going to click trade and we're going to go down to xrp slash ethereum the bottom of the page you can see buy xrp that's what we're doing it says max amount eight so we'll type that in okay so now you can see we have 52 ripple so now you can leave it here you can buy other cryptocurrencies with it uh, you could watch and see if it grows or you could store it offline in a safe wallet it is kind of a complicated process uh, but that's sort of how this goes thanks for joining us that's how you buy ripple Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.